Hey, if you like YouTube, welcome back to another episode. Okay, this week, back in the fish room, got the skirt and boards to do, but we're getting a new kitchen fitted and just not gonna have time. And the house is like a total red up with getting everything ready for the new kitchen that's getting put in on Monday. And yeah, so. However, this episode, get the skirt on, and I'm also going to show you how I built the canopy. Although technically it's not a canopy for the aquarium because the aquarium was already in situ and had all that stuff like UV sterilizers that set up on the back wall. So it was going near impossible to build the framework for a canopy. So what I'll do is I'll show you what I did instead. So it's basically how I've covered the, all the equipment and the lights and that and one of the subscribers was asking how I built it so I'm going to show you uh, so that'll be after I get this done right so I need to get this skirt and boards done once this is done then all of the stuff from the kitchen is going to be put here and we're going to kind of make this maybe like a temporary kitchen area oh, so it's just gonna be a headache so we're gonna get all the kitchen stuff it's just gonna be piled in here until the new kitchen's finished which is gonna take about a week and a half i believe maybe two weeks so yep i wanted to get this skirt and boards done first and then we should be hunky dory now this is the stuff that I was on about so it's flexible and basically, you just fold it along this crease and you make, you make the 90 degree angle, like I've done here, for instance. Like, like this. And then this will then get silicone up here. Now, the problem I've got is it's still not wide enough to cover this area here. So I think what I'm going to do is, hopefully, if I've got enough of this stuff, I'll put one flap first. So there'll be a flap, one of these that goes flat first, then I'll put the next one on top, and that should cover that. I mean, I think the majority of it should be okay, but just that wee bit, it's a wee bit short, because obviously, being the metal shed and putting these walls, it's not like, the walls are not like perfect. Um, so yeah, get that and then a bit along here. So this will all be watertight and then if I ever did flood the place, touch wood I never do, but if I did, the water level would rise and then it would tip over into here. Once it tips into here, there's drains either side there and the water will just go out before it gets any higher. Well, that's a theory anyway. But I honestly kind of see me flooding it. Right, so. Right, let's get this done. If anybody's interested, this is what I'm going to be using to stick the skirting boards down. So I've picked the white sticks all. Um, this stuff's really, really good. It can even be, even sticks underwater. So this is going to be perfect. Bones and seals, virtually everything. So that'll be what I'm using. Midnight, driving your Mercedes. I've been up calling you, baby. My eyes wild from the passenger side. White sheets, your hands they go where I go. Palm trees. Swaying out the window, I'm tired But stay up just to stare in those eyes In my past I'd erase it and start over with you, you You know that you make me Want you to forget yours too, too You're giving me a run for my money Sweet like honey, ocean white and blue you're giving me a run for my heart is gone forever I just lost it in you, I lost it in you And lately I've been terrified Wanting you is scary, I know that it is rare to find you Make me aware that I could have 
forever verifying mm. I love it when you tell me that I do Found it for you is my point of view mm. So we're just going to fill this whole area with kitchen stuff. So until the kitchen's done, there's not a lot I can do in here now. But yep, that's it finished. So I'll give you a quick, quick spin of how it looks now. And then I'll do an update once the kitchen's finished and I can get all my fish stuff back in here and plan out what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is the finished job. As you can see, all the skirting is in place. And what I did here was I put the skirting along here as well. I just join up to here because this is as far as the doors open. So yeah, that just finishes that off. I think the only one thing I will do is I'll maybe paint this white when I get a chance. But yeah, that's it. Looking pretty good. What I did here was I didn't have enough of this to put two layers, only had enough to do basically what I did. So I just used the clear silicone and I've just covered this, sealed that whole area with the clear silicone. So it's completely watertight as well. Yep, that's it. So the room is now ready for the rock and roll, as they say. Right, that's it for the fish room. Now I've got to go load it up with all the kitchen stuff. Oh, what fun, not. Okay, so as promised, I was going to show CB's Reef how I built my canopy. Although technically it's not a canopy because each panel doesn't open and close like it would on a canopy. This is more of a tank cover, I would say. So basically what I did was each panel is numbered and there's like a metal bracket on each one that goes into a nail in the ceiling. And then I just slot that into position and at the bottom... There's like an L, a 90 degree bit of plastic, and that sits on top of the aquarium, which sounds complicated, but it's very, very simple, which I'll show you just shortly. So I'll go and take each panel off, and then I'll let you see all the, the bits that are needed to do it, and then I'll just put it back together. But like I said, it's very simple. I can take each panel out independently if, I can see that there's a coral missing or falling I just need to get to that section I can just pop it off and then just pop it back on so yep it works a treat and uh, it's very simple
Okay, so here's the side panel with the vent. It's got one of those 90 degrees and it slots into that bit of wood at the top there. So that's how that piece slips in. And here's the nails that are on this piece of wood that's attached to the ceiling. And it's just a case of lining up these little L metal L brackets that I've got and I drilled holes into them. Like so. So these little L brackets and I drilled a hole in it. That slots into the nail that's on the ceiling. That keeps it from tipping over. And then each panel's numbered so I know where to go. And this is the bit of PVC that I was on about. It's like a little plastic L bracket. So I've used these here and then this sits on top of the aquarium which then holds the panel up and the nail on the top stops it from tipping forward. Okay guys, that's how I've built my canopy, slash tank cover, whatever you want to call it. So I hope that's helpful. If anybody's trying to build a canopy but struggling, this is a dead easy way to hide all your lights and equipment. And yep, works for me. So yep, for those that were interested, that's how I did it. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, stay liquid. Bye-bye.